Fadoli, one of the most fascinating ant species to ever exist. In this video, we will guide you through the amazing lives of these creatures, from their secret lives underground to the majestic nuptial flights high above. For a more clear view of these ants' secret lives, we will be using our resident Fadoli Megacephal colony as a subject. Fadoli Megacephala have two castes of workers. Minor workers that are small, peculiarly shaped reddish brown ants that have an abdomen attached to the thorax via a thin pole like waist, also known as a petiole. Major workers, or soldiers on the other hand, have massive muscled heads and are double the size of regular minor workers. Queens, however, are triple the size of miners and have a rounded head followed by a somewhat rounded diamond shaped thorax. Their gaster is about the size of the thorax and looks exactly like a miniature plum in size and shape. The gaster is connected to the thorax via a thin petiole. Fadoli Megacephala are special among ants for a few reasons. The first and most obvious one is that they have majors with massive sized heads compared to the rest of the body, and the second being that they accept more than one queen per nest, and the third being that they are able to farm aphids, mealybugs, or other sap sucking insects. This species of ant is especially well known for the big headed majors they create with only a few other ant species that share this feature, one of them being the well-known Asian marauder ants. Accepting more than one queen per nest is a trait called polygyny, and although this trait is more common than massive differences in castes, it's still somewhat rare among ants. This trait appears in many smaller species, such as Lampithma, Parachachina, and Tetramorium, just to name a few. Having multiple queens in one nest benefits the colony greatly, especially during the founding stage. Most founding colonies do not make it past the founding stage as they are often invaded and killed off by other stronger colonies, or simply do not find enough food and stuff. Having more queens gives the colony an edge by letting the colony start off with a few times more nanotics than others. Another trait that gives the species an edge is that they are able to farm aphids and other sap sucking insects. These insects, when stroked, secrete a sugary liquid that the ants love, which gives them an everlasting supply of food. Like most ants, Fadoli reproduce via elates. Once or twice in a year, often after rainstorms, the winged princes and princesses, also known as elates, engage in an event called the nuptial flight. Elates join others in the air and mate. After all the queens have mated, the males drop to the floor, dead. The female elates, now queens, shed their wings and start creating their own colony. Once the colony matures, they produce more elates, and the cycle begins again. Though the species is native to Africa, they have successfully invaded Australia, USA, and records of them even exist in Egypt. There are many factors that contribute to their success. They are opportunistic and will eat anything from flat coke to moldy bread. They are also polygynous, meaning that their colonies are able to reach massive sizes and at incredible speeds. And during nuptial flights, each colony sends out massive amounts of elate, spreading extremely fast. Fadoli are amazing social insects that are extremely successful. Originating from Africa, they have invaded America, Australia, and some re records say they have even invaded Egypt. They have many special traits, including how they send queens off a mature colony with a team of workers to form a so-called satellite nest, how they can accept thousands of queens per nest, and how they have massive big-headed majors that cannot be found in most ants. Overall, they are in my opinion, the most amazing ant species to ever live, apart from one. <laughs>